the hood, Mona Lisa Break a nigga in the pieces Had to eat some cheesy niggas out my circle like a pizza I'm way too exclusive, I don't shop on Insta boutiques All them little ass clothes on me Hey homies, what's up? It's your girl Nisha And I'm coming to you with a vlog, y'all I haven't been, um been here with a vlog in a long time i'm looking kind of rough y'all because i'm actually in a sickle cell crisis um and i wanted to get back in the vloggy vlog and just get back to things on my channel so i had another video planned another vlog to show you guys how i grocery shop now with me having sickle cell with all the pandemic stuff um but since i'm in a crisis i'm going to treatment and I'm going to vlog to show you what that's like. So, um, for me, a day of treatment is waking up at about 7.30 because you have to call at 8 to try to get an appointment. And they, you call, then they call you back, and they give you an appointment. So, my appointment is 11. Um, and now, with all of the COVID stuff, when you go for sickle cell treatment at acute care, I go to the University of Illinois in Chicago, um... They testing you for COVID. I haven't been tested for COVID because I've been in the house and I haven't been around anybody. But they're testing you for COVID just to come for treatment. And so they said that they will have to do the Q-tip on your throat and then up both nostrils. And that kind of bothered me a little bit and gave me a little bit of anxiety only because with sickle cell, you already get poked and prodded at so much. So, don't nobody be wanting to get poked and prodded at for something new. And COVID just give them something new to poke and prod you with. But, because I am in a crisis and I have went to the ER already. Like, and y'all know normally, I, excuse my face if it's like sleep on it. I literally just got up. Um, but, I went to the ER because it, it shot up this weekend and treatment was closed. So, I had no choice but to go to the ER, and that's a whole nother story. I gotta do a video on, to tell y'all about that. But um, yeah, so I went to the ER and it brought it down, but not that much. So I'm gonna go to treatment and hopefully it can be like bring this crisis down all the way, but I'll be vlogging throughout the day. My grandfather is taking me and Arthur is picking me up, my husband. They normally split shifts on who take me, who pick me up, but I don't want this to be too long. I already talked long enough, so I see you later on. I'm gonna get dressed for treatment and show you what it's like going to treatment during the pandemic. Hey, Nomi's. Okay, so I'm at treatment. This is my mask. Um, it's actually my cousin's clothing line, Black Child. I'll leave the um, link in the description box. But as you guys can see, I'm at treatment. My port is accessed. And I'm at the University of Illinois at Chicago. They have a sickle cell center where they have acute care that basically it's like a, a ER or treatment center for people who have sickle cell. So like I told you guys earlier, I called, I came in, my appointment was at 11. And now because of COVID and everything, they actually make you get the COVID testing. And I was really, really, really anxious and nervous about that because of things that I've seen on social media. But in honesty, um, it's not that bad. They do have to stick a Q-tip and um, rub it on your throat and then they do it in each nostril. What they rub on your throat is just how they do when you have strep throat. So, um, I've already had one dose of morphine. This is the IVs, blood pressure cup. And it's basically like one of those, like a chair at a chemo with the massage and the heating and it lets back and all of that. So. I was just coming in to show you guys where I am. I'll do a little, turn the camera around and do a little turn around so you can see what treatment looks like. But at treatment, we get three doses of pain medicine. So my first dose um, was morph of morphine. And then basically they come back every, they come back in 30 minutes and check you and then give you another dose. They basically give you a dose every hour. So by the end of the day, you with three doses of morphine and then a dose of um, Tordal as well. And they also gave me Zofran IV and then a Benadryl capsule because the morphine does make me itch. But um, 
that's it y'all i try to be cute even when i come to treatment and it's not like to be cute for treatment it's just that when i'm in pain i try to make sure that i don't look how i feel so even if it takes me a little bit extra um energy to make myself presentable i do that because it helps me mentally do any other warriors have that let me know down in the description box but i will be back and update you throughout this whole thing my granddad dropped me off i didn't vlog in a car because i was eating and child my granddad was driving crazy because we was running behind but i see y'all later on in the vlog okay guys this is what treatment looks like um because of covid they're trying to only put one person in the room but uh yes this is treatment like a regular chemo chair and i bring my motivational affirmation book here for myself okay guys so i have had my second dose of morphine um what i used to i used to get dilaudid but you guys know that i weaned off a lot of the medicine so i don't get that anymore um weaned off by choice on my own and i went down from the dilaudid i was getting three milligrams of dilaudid at treatment and when I was in the hospital. So now, then I went down to 12 milligrams of morphine and then 10, then eight, then six. But depending on how the crisis is, depends on how we um, medicate me. I have a really good relationship with the nurses and the nurse practitioners here who basically uh, oversee treatment. So today my first dose was 12 milligrams of morphine. And then my second dose was eight milligrams of morphine now depending on how much my pain comes down from that second dose will determine what we do for the third dose and then depending on my labs that would determine if i can have the toradol and toradol is basically like ibuprofen extra strength iv ibuprofen so but that's it guys um what i do is i normally get dropped off and then get picked up by a family member. So I just wanted to vlog again and show you guys, you know, I got my crystals on. This crystal that I have on today is for pain relief and also anemia, blood issues, and also this bracelet as well. But I see you guys in the next, later on in the uh, next clip. Okay, Nomis, <sighs> I'm so tired. I am finally back at home. I know I said I was gonna um, vlog in the car, but me and Arthur were talking and uh, I just didn't get the vlog, sorry. But I'm back home. So basically I went to treatment. I explained to you guys what happens at treatment. So now with all of the COVID stuff, and this is, I used to do this before COVID because this is just like how my normal routine is. When I come off, shoes off at the door, which is a rule that we kind of had in place at our house anyway but we used to bend it a lot before covid this right there what you see y'all is are some of my affirmations um remember i did the talking positive video that's some of my positive things but um we used to bend the letting people wear shoes in our house before covid now after covid i don't care you have to take your shoes off and we haven't had that many visitors just like my grandfather and my sisters but we make them take their shoes off and then you have to sanitize your hands um, and so forth. And I no longer hug people, not everybody, like certain people like granddad and my dad, mom, sisters, them I do. But how I used to hug friends and stuff, I really don't do that too much. But anyway, back to me coming home from treatment. Okay, so I came, came home for treatment. We take our shoes off. I take my shoes off at the door. And what I do after treatment hospital anything i go straight upstairs and as you can see i'm in my robe and i take my uh clothes off that i wore and put them directly in the dirty clothes and then i get in the shower to, um to wash the dirt and germs off of me the only reason i ain't doing that now is because i want to vlog and thank god i have a 15 year old daughter um that reminded me because like i said i went to treatment so i'm medicated so your girl forgot like i totally forgot i was supposed to be vlogging like 
and sitting here and took my clothes off and everything but i don't want this to be too long y'all but i did want to get back into vlogging and since i was going to treatment i did want to show you guys that as well um you can see my i have a prayer closet because i told y'all y'all already know i'm a christian um but i'm a christian hippie is what i call myself that is my prayer closet. I'm going to turn the camera around and show y'all, but that's where I meditate and pray. You old folks and stuff like that, your war room, your prayer room, all of that. You've seen the movie, y'all. But I'm going to turn the camera around and show you. Look, guys, it's Leah. She's so much taller than me now. That don't mean, that don't mean nothing. You understand? I'm my back. Huh? But... Thank Leah, guys. Give her a round of applause for reminding her medicated mother that she needs to stick to her YouTube channel. Stop. I see you looking at me out the corner of your eye in the mirror. I seen that look. I'm going to turn the camera around, y'all, um, so y'all can see what my prayer room looks like. Okay, I'm not going to go into full detail, but these are like my affirmations and uh, scriptures and stuff like that. Then these are pictures of people that I wub. Um, with the more affirmations and scripture, these are personal prayers down there, more scriptures, that's last year's vision board, this is another vision board, that's all my husband wife stuff, and, uh, other family personal affirmations, but, yeah, y'all, so, that is about it for this vlog, I didn't want it to be all super crazy long, because I'm just getting back in the, in the vloggy world, but I also want it to be kind of an educational vlog for people to be able to see what actually happens when we go through a day of treatment um, for, sickle cell, for a sickle cell crisis. So that's it, Nomi's. I miss you guys. I love you guys. If you're new, make sure you're subscribed to join the family. All right, guys. I love you and stay blessed.